Hey all my Cancer friends and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your 12 Zodiac uh, spread as well as a overall situation with somebody and a th three month prediction of what the end of the year will bring you. All right, we're getting started. Okay. Okay, so the card that flew out was the tower cancer could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but your energy is, uh, emotionally shooken up for, for this time. If you are a cancer dealing with Aries, the Aries is removing, uh, removing, refusing to remove themselves from the situation they're refusing to move forward, move on away from you. Even though you delivered this blow to this Aries sign, they are not wanting to end this relationship with you. Taurus, you are a cancer dealing with a Taurus. They're, um, they have secrets that are coming out that are blowing this relationship up. Things are coming to an end. Um, yeah. Yeah with this relationship. Um, you know, this is coming though, is what I am hearing. Gemini, if you are a cancer dealing with a Gemini, beautiful energy. Um, this person, um, is going to be there for you, um, through thick and thin. This tower moment that you are experiencing is not to do with your love relationship. This is something else in your life. Emotional shakeup at work, within family, within friends. This person's going to be your best friend. They're going to be there next to you riding this uh, riding this tidal wave of emotions out with you. They defend you. They love you. They have passion. This is a good relationship. Uh, <clears throat> Cancer, this Gemini is going to stick with you through thick and thin. And I most definitely see this relationship um, still being together by the end of the year. Cancer, if you are a... Cancer dealing with a cancer. You have the princess of cups. A lot of love, lot of love between the two of you. Um, you're going to make this person a love offer. Um, after you get through some shit that you're dealing with on your own, this as well is not does not have to do with a relationship. This is a shakeup um, somewhere else in your life. Um, possibly losing a job is what I'm hearing for you, uh, cancers. But you're gonna offer your love to somebody and another cancer sign and they will accept this. So have the courage to take those steps after you heal from whatever this shakeup is in your life. Leos, if you are a cancer dealing with a Leo, they have the king of pentacles in reverse. They're not stable. They're not grounded. Uh, they could be unstable at work. Um, they're, they spend money without thinking about it. They're, um, yeah, they're, they're going to, yeah, this Leo, um, cancer, you're going to leave this Leo and it's going to cause them to financially, um, be turned upside down. You are the one that is ending this relationship with a Leo in the time of Virgo is what I'm hearing. So any day now. Um, so yeah, Virgos judgment. I just said you're going to end something with a Virgo. Um, it is time for a separation from this Virgo that you are dealing with. Yeah. Um, Yeah, they will come back though. This is a second chance from the universe. They will come back before the end of the year. Uh, yeah, this Virgo, if you are a Cancer dealing with a Virgo, um, you guys are in separation right now after um, something broke the two of you up. This person is coming back in the next three months um, and you guys will come back together. This relationship will be successful because it's blessed by the heavens and brought to you by the angels. So a very good connection with 
um, you guys and Virgo. Um, you just have to be patient and work at healing from this energy. Libra, temperance in reverse. So um, after this relationship ended with a Libra, they are out of balance. Um, this relationship can't um, come together until you both heal. Uh, this is being impatient, waiting for you to heal as well. If you're dealing with a Libra, um, they want to come back together with you. They want to have a second chance with you, but the angels will not bring you two back together until you, this is healed. That energy, um, that shook you up. You left this Libra in the past guys, and they're wanting to, that's what caused them to be out of balance. Um, and they're wanting a second chance with you, but you both have to heal from this. Scorpios, Ace of Cups. So um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they no longer have um, the feelings they did for you at one time. They don't want to rekindle this relationship. And that's why you have this tower energy. Sagittarius, the world in reverse. This relationship is coming to an end, but there's something you two have to deal with. Before the karmic cycle can close. This is a karmic partner that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a Saggy. Um, there's something you guys aren't seeing. Um, that has to do with this breakup. The two of you both have to heal. And learn this karmic lesson. Or the cycle will start over again. So um, make sure you are dealing with the pain. The hurt. Capricorn. The alchemist. Um, I caution you cancer as. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, they are very manipulative. They like to mess with your mind. They are trying to make you believe something that isn't true. Um, and it's just shaking the foundation all over again. This is something that um, you've been trying to fix if, this, if you're dealing with a Capricorn. But I don't see it making it through the beginning of the year. Aquarius. You guys have the King of Cups. So, um, Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, beautiful energy. They are going to help you heal from whatever this is. This is, uh, for some of you, this is loss of a family member um, or a close friend. This Aquarius is going to be by your side and offer you love and support and commitment. This is a beautiful connection between Aquarius and Cancer. Um, amazing. This is a soulmate. Um, so, most definitely, they will be with you through the first of the year. And Pisces, ooh, Ace of Wands, another awesome connection, Cancer and Pisces. Um, if you're dealing with this person, they have a whole bunch of love for you, admiration, passion. They want to create a life with you. They want to help you rebuild um, your life. They want to help you, or they want to build a solid foundation after this tower comes down. This person's waiting in the wings. You have not been with this person. This is not the person that caused the tower. Um, this is somebody who's waiting for you to heal and for waiting for you to notice them. This Pisces, um, they have big plans for you guys, and they hope that you'll give them a chance. You will be together with this Pisces by the end of the year for those of you that this resonates with. All righty. So that's how you guys uh, balance out energy-wise with each of the 11 or 12 zodiacs. I am going to pull one card for you, one card for the person you're dealing with, one card for shared energy. The bottom of the deck is Spirit's Prediction for the next three months um, as far as the outcome of the relationship goes. This message won't resonate with everybody. It's for the collective of who Spirit thinks needs to hear it or the majority of people that are in this situation. So... If it doesn't fit, go ahead and check out your other signs as well. Okay, one more shuffle spirit plan. We'll cut the cards. All right. Cancer. You guys have the lovers. Nice. So um, you guys have a choice between uh, two, two people, two things, two situations. Um, I'm hearing moving to or staying where you're at. So um, you could be uh, finding out that your partner wants to move or um, so you have a chance to move or you have a chance to stay right where you're at um, for some of you. 
the person you're dealing with is the princess of wands. They're kind of adding fuel to the fire. I'm hearing you guys, this shared energy is the princess of swords. Yeah. So, um, with the lover's card, cancer, this, you need to listen to your inner guide, um, on which way you should choose. You are really torn. You're, you can see yourself, um, going both ways, um, with this situation and you're really confused about, What's real, what's not. Um, yeah, you kind of feel deep down that something isn't right. Yeah. You should most definitely um, trust your instincts, trust your intuition, trust your gut. Um, because there could be... I can't, I can't figure out exactly what spirit is trying to tell me here. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what, um, I'll move on to it. Maybe he'll show it to me again. Um, your person is the princess of wands. So, um, in the reverse. So this can indicate, um, a message that this person's going to send to you. Um, it could have something to do with their work. Like I said, they could be being relocated. You have a choice between two. Um, it, it could have something to do with a project they're working on. Um, something with their work, they may have to relocate. And that's why you have the choice of whether to stay or whether to go, whether to move, whether to stay where you're at. Your shared energy is you both are researching. You both are looking online. You're both trying to figure out what it is that, um, where to go from here, if that's a location that you would even consider. Um, oh, okay. Okay. So what Spirit was trying to show me is um, you have a choice on whether to um, to go or to stay. You feel like this offer that you're partner is being offered is too good to be true. You guys are looking into what, what the benefits are, what, why is not everybody jumping on this? Um, you do have a choice of whether to move, um, to a mountainous region or, um, up North. I see, um, a lot of snow. Yeah. Those are going to be your two choices or you can choose to stay. Um, yeah, and you guys are just researching like crazy online, the two of you. Um, this is a good connection. Um, it's just you guys are trying to make life choices on whether to stay or go, take this job or not. Is it too good to be true? Um, what's the catch type of thing? Your guys' uh, three-month uh, prediction card is the wheel. So most definitely, this is a good call. Um, whatever you choose you're going to receive the benefit. You're going to receive the upswing of good karma. Um, this is something that's meant for you guys, meant for you to be in your path, meant for you to follow. Um, so really consider it. But either, whatever you choose in this situation, um, in the next three months, you're going to uh, be on the positive end of karma, which is always a good thing to know. So just follow your heart. Make sure you keep and continue to uh, research uh, cancer and, and just go with what your instincts are telling you. Trust your gut. Your guides are talking to you. So, all right, Cancer, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.